In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these really easy to make wooden wine crates. Hey guys, welcome back to David's DIY Reviews. Today we're making these really neat wooden wine crates. They're going to be 18 by about 10 and a half by about 12 and a half. That's pretty much the dimensions of, you know, an older wooden wine crate. These are really easy to make, really quick. You can do this in about half an hour. I've made mine out of ripped 4x4s, but you can make these out of uh, reclaimed skids. You can make nice modern contemporary ones out of, you know, some nice clean D4S. Whatever kind of style you want to do. I'm going to show you how right now. So the first thing you're going to want to do is cut out all your pieces. You're going to need eight pieces at 18 inches long. These are going to be the sides and the bottom of your crate. Then you're going to need six pieces at 11 and a half. That 11 and a half plus the width of the bottom is going to give you that 12 inch height. Those are going to be your ends. Now if you wanted, you could probably cut a handle into the two top end pieces. But this is, you know, going to be a nice, quick, simple build. I'm not going to do the handles on this one. And then you're going to need four pieces at eight and a half. And these are going to be the four corner posts in the crate. Now these corner posts, uh, I've done them one by one. They could be a bit smaller, they could be a bit bigger, that'll still work. All my slats are just over half an inch thick. I've actually used a spruce 4x4 and ripped it this way and then ripped them to two and a half inches wide. And that's gonna give you a nice gap between the slats. You could go a bit bigger, a bit smaller, depending on the material you have. And all the dimensions and instructions will be in the description below. So once you've got all your pieces cut out, we'll get ready for assembly. And I actually made a mistake. We actually need 10 of these slats for the sides and bottom. So we'll get everything cut out like this, ready to go, and we'll get assembling. So how I'm gonna go about building this is we're gonna build the ends first. We're gonna get the ends nailed on like this, nice and even, or if you want a, a different offset. Because I'm not doing the handle, I'll probably do a bigger offset here so there is a handle, like a grip like this. And then we'll get the two ends nailed up and then we'll put the bottom and the sides on. So we'll go ahead and start nailing this up. I'm using these inch and a half uh, finishing nails actually. That way you don't end up with too much of a nail head sticking out. And I'm probably actually just gonna do one nail for each end of each piece. That way I can kind of tweak it around at the end if it needs to be you know, squared up or anything like that. So I'll go ahead and just start nailing up my ends. And when I put the top one on here, I'm gonna space it up just a little bit, just so there's a bit of a gap right there. That way the post isn't gonna come flush to the top of the crate. And like I said, guys, all the dimensions and some instructions for this will be in the description below. So, you know, check it out if you're having trouble or if you forget or, you know, miss any things that I've said along the way. So like I said, I'll space that up probably just about a quarter of an inch. You can almost just kind of eyeball it. I mean, there's nothing on this has to be perfect. We kind of just hammer it, nail it together. You just kind of, you know, go as you go and make it work. And then like I said, for the, uh, the middle one on the end, you can do it centered or you can drop it down a little bit like this. I'm gonna drop it down a little bit to create a gap for a handle because I'm not cutting the handle hole in my top slat on the end. So we'll just go ahead and nail that one up. And like I said, I'm still just doing one nail per piece so that I can kind of twist this, manipulate it, whatever I have to do. Because I'm using, you know, spruce 4x4s and I've ripped them, they're a little bit twisted, they're a little bit crooked, but this is like a rustic looking crate, so that, that's gonna go with the look. So now you've got one end. That's gonna be the end of your crate and the sides will go here and then the bottom. So we'll nail up another one of these and then we'll continue on assembling. And just remember when you nail up your second one that you make that, that top uh, slat on the end stick up that same amount. If you just kinda eyeballed it, just do the next one the exact same. So now we've got our two ends nailed up. We'll go ahead and start putting the sides and bottoms. And like I said, I'm using just inch and a half inch finishing nails cause I kinda, I don't always like the look of a nail head but sometimes people like the look of a nice old looking nail head on a crate like this or a rustic piece. So whatever type of nails you want to use, it's just going to change the look that you end up with with your crate. So what you can do, the easiest thing to do probably is to, to nail your bottoms on. And it's a little tricky to get it started. You can kind of set up both your ends like this and just balance one piece on top. Get one piece centered right on that corner where you want it. 
and go ahead and nail that in. You can nail it, I'll probably nail it into the post. You can nail into the slat if you want, but depending on what material you're using, if you nail into that slat, there's a good chance you might split that wood. So I'll probably nail it into the bottom of that post. So we'll just get our first bottom slat nailed up, kind of tacked in place. And then we'll flip it around here and we'll get the, the other corner of that slat kind of tacked in place. And like I say, I'm just using one nail pretty much everywhere to start. And then when I get this finished, we'll uh, put in the rest of the nails. And hey guys, if these little quick DIY woodworking builds are something that you really like and you want to see a little more of them, check out this playlist I've got. It's a lot of quick, you know, 15 minute, 20 minute, half an hour woodworking projects you can do at home. You can do them with hand tools. They're a lot of fun. You're going to love them. Check it out. So now that you've got something that's kind of freestanding like this that holds itself, it's going to be a lot easier to get the rest of those nails in place. So we'll go ahead and we'll nail the other side slat on the bottom. So the bottom is going to have four slats and then the sides are going to have three slats. So you can pretty much, I mean if you want to measure and get this just perfect you can, but you can pretty much get your two side slats on and just kind of eyeball the two middle ones. So we'll get these two middle bottom slats nailed on right now. So now that we've got the four bottom slats kind of tacked in place, and you can see you can still manipulate it like this. If it's not quite square, we'll be able to flip it over. And now we'll flip it on its side and we'll start to put the sides on. And this is when we'll really tweak it to get it nice and square. And there'll be three side slats and you can kind of space those out. Um, you can do the same gap with the handles on the side if you want. I'll probably do them more even because I only want handles on the sides. And like I said, all the dimensions and some instructions will be in the description below. When I nail this first top side slot in, I'm probably going to nail it into the side slot because if I nail into this piece of one by one, it's going to tend to bounce around a lot. You can probably get away with a lot of materials nailing into the end of the side slot, right into the end grain, and it's not going to split it. You probably shouldn't have any issues with that. So we'll go ahead and we'll start nailing on these sides. And as you can see here, the way I've designed this is that if you space these side slats evenly, the bottom end is kind of bumped up a little bit because of the bottom. So this lines up perfectly with the side slat and leaves that nice gap for a handle. But you could drop it down, you could raise it up, whatever the look you want. But you know, with this build process that I've laid out, it works out really nicely and the gaps all line up. So you know, it's really starting to look like something now. We'll flip it over and we'll nail on the other side. So now we've pretty much got what looks like a finished crate, but we're not quite done yet. What you're going to want to do now is you can kind of tweak it, manipulate it around a little bit, get it set just square, and we'll start pinning in all these other nails and putting two nails per slat on the ends. And that's going to sure it up, make it look really nice, make it nice and strong. So we'll go ahead and do that now. And just like that guys, you've got a really nice kind of replica looking wine crate that's going to be about 10 by 18 by 12 and a half. That's kind of the wine crate dimension for the most part for like an older rustic wine crate. You can tweak those dimensions any way you want to get, you know, if you're making this more like a fitted crate for a decorative purpose or you want to make them stackable, so you want to make them all nice and perfect. But like I said uh, earlier, all the instructions and dimensions will be in the description below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for a lot more really great content like this, as well as tool reviews and tool how-to videos that's going to really help you with these little DIY wordworking projects. So like always guys, new videos Mondays, new videos Wednesdays. See you in the next one, David's DIY Reviews.